Welcome back to Collecting Elvis on Vinyl. This is part 23. Today I thought we'd look at some more compilation albums, variants, different labels, etc., different countries. So let's delve right in. The first one is Elvis in Hollywood. This is the UK edition. This has been issued a few times. The first one was about 1982. Just like that. This was on the Everest label. The sleeve is actually printed in England and the record is actually printed in France. As you can see there. That cover looks like that. The track listing. This was issued again about two years later, 84. Same cover, slight difference, no Everest records or logo on the bottom, as this was on the Premier label, which I believe is a subsidiary of Everest anyway. The back cover. Quite different, no pictures at all on the back cover of the later issue, opposed to the earlier one. And this was on the Premier label. 20 track of this, 10 each side. And a few years later, 1987, this was issued yet again in a different sleeve. This is also on the Premier label. And the back cover looks like that. And there is a variant to this as well. This is the cover with the three pictures on the back. There is one with just the one picture. There is also one with a different catalogue number. This catalogue number, CBR 1014, is the same as the previous one. However, this was issued later on with a PMP catalogue number. Slightly different one. This one, Elvis in Hollywood. This is a German release. It's on the RCA Orange. That's the label. Back cover looks like that. This came out in 1976. It was reissued in the mid 80s on the new German black label. As you can see, same tracks, same album. Film cells on the front from some of the movies. Again, a bit lazy maybe. Pictures from Fun in Acapulco, Girls, 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 Blue Hawaii, Rastabout. Looking at the track listing, you've got J.O.S. Rock, King Creole, Viva Las Vegas, etc. Charwo, you know, the, I think they could have used a few more pictures from different movies rather than just putting four fun in Acapulco pictures together. But again, that's just, a, that's just me. This copy of Elvis in Hollywood is a French copy. This came out in 1976, however they made this one a double album, so five tracks on either side, same tracks again, 20 tracks. Labels on the RCA Green International, and being a double album it did have a gatefold sleeve. As you can see this is quite readily available in the UK. 
on in port. That cover looks like that. Flaming star and the gatefold looks like that with pictures from the movies, which was nicely done, except maybe this one flaming star looks suspiciously like Starway Joe to me. But a nice gatefold, nice front cover. Sticking with the movie compilations, 1975 in the UK, this album come out. Pictures of Elvis, again using a sort of a film cell cover. Again, I've used a picture from Kissing Cousins, Paradise of Wine, Style Clam Bake. Rast about, looks like it's in there, and then they've used sort of four blue Hawaii pictures. Looking at the track listing, let's see this one there. It's the back cover. So they could have used pictures from Double Trouble. Girl Happy, etc. Nice combination. That's what the back cover looks like. The record on the green Star Call label. And it has the Star Call logo. Top right hand corner. Was reissued in 1980 on the RCA International. We have a different back cover. And a different catalogue number. issued again on the Green International label in 1982 exactly the same cover front and back but the label look like that it's just a side one on the top and if you look at the 1980 pressing, it says stereo. So that's the 80, and that's the 82 pressing. Also in 75, it was issued in Germany with a different cover, the Takeoff series. And we know this is a cropped picture from uh, Race on Rock. Absolutely nothing to do with the movies, but there you go. Same track listing. And the labels on the Bloom RCA International. Up to 1981 now in this compilation, Guitar Man. This came in for a lot of criticism when it was issued as this featured Elvis's vocal with new backing tracks and by Felton Jarvis. Originally in the UK on the blue Elvis label. It was reissued again 82. As you can see, all the tracks are below the spindle hole. In the 82 issue, in the 81 issue, we've got two up. That cover looks like 
か This is a German copy of the same album. It's an 81 pressing. This was reissued again in about 84 on the new German black label. This is the orange RCA version. As you can see, slightly different back cover to that one compared to the UK one. And this album again was issued on CD. I uh, won't go too much into these, we'll go into the CDs when we get to the FTD CDs. This was a 20 tracker and it featured the album plus some other takes that they left off. And there's still more to come of this album. Again, I'm not too keen on anything but the originals. If I had to look at the tracks, I would say definitely the 1969 tracks should not have been tampered with at all. If I had to pick tracks that are light, Guitar Man wasn't bad, which was a single. Too Much Monkey Business wasn't bad. Just Call Me Lonesome, I thought was quite nice. Loving Arms was okay, and You Asked Me To was okay. The rest... I didn't really care for. There were a couple of singles issued in the UK of this album and in other countries of course. Didn't chart very high. This one, Guitar Man Faded Love, I believe got to number 43 in 1981 and Loving Arms You Asked Me To, I believe got to 47. Both had picture sleeves. The Blue Elvis label. This is actually the American picture sleeve. I believe this record is in the jukebox actually because the American copies had the large hole, large centre hole, so that's probably where that copy is. And loving arms. As pointed out before on the single, loving arms, you ask me to. And on the album, jacket, it's got asked. Ed. But on the record, it's got ask. Okay, so I think we call it a day for this video. Just remember, one is music, life's no waste. See you shortly.